thanks so much for clicking on this video. I'm gonna be reviewing Hippie Crafters acrylic paint markers. And I'm also gonna take you through um, how I restore these old vans. These are <laughs> in need of some work. So if you get to the end of this video and you've enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up. And while you're there, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, it really helps bring people um, to the content and be able to share. So thank you so much and enjoy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open these up with you all. There are 25 premium grade colors. It says indoor and outdoor use, quick dry, fade resistant, water-based, and non-toxic. Um, and you can use these on canvas, paper, glass, ceramic, wood, rocks, metal, plastic, rubber, fabric, and more. So, so many different things, and that's what it looks like. Um, they all come individually wrapped, which I don't know. I feel like, so it's gonna take a lot of work to like unwrap them all. And then also, no, oh, that's a lot of plastic. That's a lot of plastic. But, um, I mean, maybe it's for a reason. So we will assume that. Oh, it says thank you. All right, and then it also comes with the, um, the chisel tips, which you have to, I guess, swap out with the point tip, um, which I feel like could get messy but we will see how that goes. So I have an X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna pop each one of these open. Okay, so it comes with the point tip and then you have the option to change out to the chisel tip if you need to. Um, and then obviously you shake it, it's a shake it for 10 seconds. They're very pigmented. And they don't lose color fast. It holds a decent amount of paint in the tip, so that's great. The colors look beautiful. So I'm gonna unwrap all of these, and then I will be back. See, so this one, um, a little bit of the paint has leaked out, and that's probably why they're individually wrapped in case like they explode during like shipping. I don't know. Um, but this one, this color, like leaked out just a little bit. So I'll open it up and see. There's still a lot of paint in there. Um, I think it just kind of leaked out a little bit, which I mean, it's life, it happens. I switched out all of the round tips for the chisel tips and then did a swatch so you can see all of the colors and how they look. Here I am just cleaning up these vans, um, starting the process to prep and get these uh, sneakers going. I really enjoyed painting these Chucky vans. Chucky is definitely a childhood favorite. <laughs> so I will let you all just watch the rest of this process video and I will pop in with some text about what I'm doing and maybe some voiceover. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy. <laughs> I had never worked with acrylic paint markers before this and um, I didn't know what to expect but the pigment, the color, the brightness, there it was so great so it was really fun to work with these and get these base layers on. Um, a little bit different um, than, well obviously they're different than using paintbrushes with me, but um, <laughs> it's actually easier because you don't have to create a mess. You know, you've got the colors already there. You just pop the top off. You don't have to dip it in water or anything. Um, just a different experience. It was fun trying to figure these out. was a little hard for me to figure out how to mix the skin tones with the markers. Um, there was one really good skin tone color that I actually used toward the end for some of the highlights and things, um, but to make it easier I just used Angelus um, paints to get that base skin color down and then I continued on with the markers. Um, also later on you'll see that I used like a finer detail brush and kind of did some some last minute details and touches with the um, with the paints and the, and the, and the brushes.
wasn't getting that deep alizarin crimson like pigmented red that I wanted that blood color so I went in with some red Angela's paints um, to accent and highlight that original color that I had laid down um, which ended up coming out really dope because it was like the highlight of the, the smeared blood on that on that background so that was super cool and then also I loved being able to use water to thin out and make it like a watercolor kind of like a fluid dripping paint effect um, So overall, I really enjoyed using these paint markers. Um, the colors are beautiful, very opaque and pigmented. Um, so if you're interested in giving these a try, I did link Hippie Crafters um, website in the description box. Also, they have a link to Amazon. So if you'd like to try that out, those are listed down below.